Where's bro going? Oh, okay, it's a Lydia. Let's see what's going on here. What? <laughs> what the fuck is that? What was that? That is some Tekken 8 tracking bullshit that went wrong. What the fuck? fuck was that? All right, I've seen a few videos and comments all about how stressful Tekken 8 ranked is, and uh, they aren't really wrong. The ranked is, it can be fucking abysmal at times. So, we're gonna take a break from that. Instead, we're going to do this week on Tekken. We're gonna look at the subreddit, see what people are talking about, yeah, probably get bored of that, and then have a look at some memes, and hopefully have a laugh, because Tekken memes were not really a strong point. This was a Tekken 6 meme, by the way. All right, let's see what's going on in the subreddit. What is this? The first thing here in new. Hell yeah, I'll demote you. Of course, I won't rematch when I lose. Yeah. That's about Tekken ranked. <laughs> yeah, that is Tekken ranked. I have seen Ninas do this. Win or lose, they just won and done. When is Alyssa getting nerfed? <laughs> uh, uh, that is a good question. Probably never. She has not... Has Alyssa been hit with any of the patches? Besides the first one. But the first one was a fix, if I remember right. The, the, the very first patch we got. I don't, I don't think they're ever going to nerf Alyssa. Or, or anything on Alyssa. Unless... Unless maybe... People find some broken shit. Like, the thing that they patched with Alyssa, if I remember right, was kind of broken. It was her wall combo where she throws her head at you and then... And somehow her head was going beyond the wall limit. And was still blowing up there and affecting you as the player so she could get like a follow-up. Uh, fly 3 or 4, I can't remember what the move was. The, the boot stance, whatever. That was kind of dumb, so they nerfed that and that was it. Alyssa had nothing this entire time. She's going to stay like this for a long ass time. I admit I've been plugging in game. This this first line right here, they've just outed themselves as a plugger. Okay. And I know it's bad, so no need to point it out. Wait, you pointed it out yourself. But now I want to find normal matchmaking again and be able to play the game normally. Is there any way to make the disconnection rate go down? I've been running matchmaking with only plugger and losing on purpose, but I don't know if that will work. Uh, you just have to play matches, if I remember right, and to complete the matches. So your disconnection rate goes back down. By the way, I just want to know, how high is this person's disconnection rate? Like, I think the highest I've seen is like 16. And maybe it was higher than 16, if I remember right, but... That was because the person had, like, a shitty connection. You were deliberately plugging, so your disconnection rate might be even worse. Looking for people to play with. That's a fantastic title for this. I am currently looking for people to play the game with and learn as well. I play on PS5. If anyone is interested, please let me know. For those of you watching the video, if you want to have some matches with someone, learn, train together, there you go. Calling all my Yoshi mains. Oh god. Hey y'all, so I just recently got Tekken 8 when it was on sale for PS5. It was on sale? When? Already? And I've started maining Yoshimitsu and I'd like to hear what some of your experienced Yoshi mains have with your controller settings. And why you have it set to that. I'm wanting to change some stuff up and do a note I'm on a PS5 controller and I go really good off of example and would love to test out what some of you send. Thanks for any help here. Uh, honestly, your controller... Uh, what is it? Your, your, your inputs. Whatever you set your inputs as, like your shoulder buttons and stuff. It should be whatever you're most comfortable with. That, that makes the most sense. Like for me, I have my L2 as 1 plus 2. I have... The L1 button as 2 plus 3, which is heat. I'm just used to having it like that because in Tekken 7 we didn't have heat. So when I would wave dash with Kazuya, I would just hit 2 plus 3 as the L1 button and either get the electric or cancel out of it and do a forward forward 3 using the same button. Even though it's 2 plus 3, it would give you either the forward forward 3 or the electric. It still does that now. Or you might just get heat by accident, so I just keep it as a heat button now. R1, I keep it as 3 plus 4 and then... R2, I kept it as Rage Art because I used to have it as 1 plus 4, but Kazuya doesn't have the Rage Drive anymore, so it makes no sense for me to keep that. And it's good to actually just have a Rage button, uh, a Rage Art button in this game, especially. Like, it's pretty useful. I'm not gonna lie. Just having a button that you can mash for a Rage Art in some pretty tight spots helps a lot. 
But with Yoshi, does Yoshi have any complicated inputs? I guess just flash. Maybe bind flash to a button. What is, what is flash again? Is it one plus? I can't remember the flash input, but anyways, yeah, just bind flash somewhere. That would probably be the most important thing. The fourth DLC must be Miguel. 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 No. It doesn't make any sense to miss a crucial, unique... Crucial? C crucial to who? To what? But you think he can fit into the story with Lydia, Eddie, and Heiachi? He doesn't fit into the story, d d period. He is just there. Like, it, it would have made sense for Miguel to be base roster based on what he was going on with his story. Of him hating Jin and wanting to get back at Jin and all that shit. So seeing Jin kind of get a redemption arc... And having Miguel there kind of being like, yeah, I'm gonna fuck you up anyways. Could have been nice, I guess. But um, crucial, can Miguel! Bruce, motherfucker. Bruce, we need Bruce. This is the game where Kazuya was back in charge, like Tekken 2. You need Bruce there. The reason G Corp's army exists is because of Bruce. Why wasn't Bruce base roster? He makes most. We cut fucking Shaheen for some reason. Oh, we have a salty rant. Anyone else get frustrated about punishing similar animations differently? Uh, yes and no, I guess. You kind of get used to it eventually. One thing in this game that actually drives me insane is wild inconsistency between punishing similar attack animations. Some examples. Jin's down 2 is only minus 14 on block, but it should be minus 15. That shit is fucking annoying to punish online. Yeah, even though it's a tracking count hit launching low. Yeah, that's... God. Fucking scourge. Victor Lars also basically both have counter hit launching sweep lows, but theirs is launch punishable on block. Uh, yeah, but the uh, the difference between uh, Victor and Lars and Jin's, if I, well, I'm not, I can't really remember Lars is sweeping low, but Victor's launches you as a normal launcher. This auto bounds or if it counter hits. So I guess that's why there's a difference. Then there's Leroy Sweep that's only like minus 13 on block. <laughs> yep. Even though the animation is extremely similar to Victor Lars, why are all why are these all so similar yet need such a different level of knowledge to punish? It's not really a different level of knowledge to punish. It's what button you press as you're getting up. It's it's not really different knowledge. It's more Jen's. Uh, down to is minus 14, so with Kazuya you do twin pistons. Same with Leroy's sweep, uh, health sweep. But with uh, Victor and Lars, you would do while standing two instead. So it's 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 literally just the button you're pressing as you're getting up. These aren't so terrible though. It's the ones that look like they should be launched well punishable by some means more than like a minus 11 or 12 or something. But they minus 11 or 12. Like I think some of Lily's lows are like that. They look like they should be. 13 or 14, but they're actually 11 and 12. Oh, there's more here. Down forward two moves across the cast are wildly inconsistent. Some are safe at minus 9 and others are punishable at minus 13. Paul's, for whatever reason, crushes highs and is safe on... Not only Paul's, by the way. Uh, Lee's. Lee's down forward two it has a bit of high crush to it. If you've seen me play Lee, you've seen me spam down forward one, down forward one, and then down forward two when my opponent tries to jab. Those are by design, but if you look at Kazuya's down forward too, for example, his works differently. He's not his down forward two does not launch unless it counter hits, and when it does, you guys see the damage that Kazuya does off a counter hit. So it's not necessarily the input here. Like down forward two moves across the cast are wildly inconsistent for a reason. It's because they're not meant to be consistent across the board. If that was the case, then everyone's down forward one would be consistent and Kazuya's wouldn't really suck as much being minus, I mean, being a 15 frame move. Yeah, here we go. Well, they might have similar animations, but their properties are different. Leroy's one, for example, gives a follow up on counter hit, not a full combo. Yeah, that's why he's is minus 13. Lars Victor, it would be a high risk, low reward if it was, what? It would be high risk, low reward if it was launchable like the other sweeps mentioned. Oh, he's talking about he's talking about Leroy's. Okay, hundred percent agree on Jin's down two though. It should be launchable, and the only reason is not is because Jin is technically yeah yeah. It's a, it's the same thing. I just down two. 
My god, with how fast Shet recovers in Tekken 8, it, it's it's just absurd. Like, there's so many times where I blocked it out while I was playing Lee. I blocked Jin's down two. And I would be mashing two myself because it's a it's a 14 frame move. And the Jin player would block. And I'm like, how? I was I was mashing that shit to, to launch to get Wild Sandy 2 3, but no. It's the same thing with down forward tools being safe or punishable. It's not arbitrary. Yep. They've got different properties. Unsafe down forward tools launch crouches. Safe ones don't. Yeah. Kind of, yeah. That's that's kind of the consistency thing with them. Reina's down forward two is both unsafe and doesn't launch crouching opponents, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, but Reina has other shit going on. That's why. I think the balance team justifies this by it having cracked range. Not only cracked range, it's because of forward forward two. It's a mid. What is it called? Bryden. Yeah. A demon paw. Why would you. You could down forward two or you could demon paw them. Also, I had to type this shit out. Why does Reddit not. Like, if you click on a flare and then you hit new. Like, if I hit new now, right? Sort by new. It takes me back to the- it gives me all of the subreddit. Why? That is so dumb! Oh wait, this has sound. What is this? Oh my god, what song is- <laughs> What the fuck? Wait there's, there's, wait, there's a lot going on here. Hold on, I'm gonna have to mute this for a second. Oh, I'll put it softer or something. What the fuck? Mass murder, theft, fraud. Assault, scamming, blackmail, numerous health violations. Psychological abuse. Okay, money laundering, trespassing, grave grave robbing. Where did he do grave robbing? Animal cruelty, animal experiments, yeah, Roger and Alex. Attempted enforced suicide. What? Tax event selling souls! When did he do this? Kidnapping, mass torture, poaching, citizen rights violations, grand larceny, embezzlement, slander, counterfeiting money. When did that happen? Price gouging, racketeering, stalk stalking, endangerment, piracy, <laughs> breach of the peace, <laughs> parental negligence, <laughs> mistreatment of employees, harassment, vandalism. Seems like the least important thing here. Illegal machine operation. Huh? Breaking and entering, attempted murder. Wait, <laughs> plagiarism? What? <laughs> plagiarism. Indecent expo- where- uh, indecent exposure? Destruction. Food poisoning, battery, and 50-50 vortex. You should have included that at the end here. That would have made this perfect, by the way. What the fuck did I just look at? <laughs> what do people have to say about this? Jin World War 3. <laughs> also, to Lars in reference to Alyssa. Seemingly gone forever. Don't tell me you love that thing. Unforgivable! <laughs> yeah, Jin is a bit worse, actually. Tax evasion, well damn, he's cooked. Hush, my dude. He did that to evade child support. <laughs> oh, and a half demon hottie that banged a one troubleless chick and disappeared into the night while in the pursuit of pop. Oh, I, I assume this is talking about Kazi. I was confused there for a second. I was like, who the f who? Forgot the criminally bad taste in hobbies. Sneakers, hey! Don't hold, don't hate on the boy sneakers, man. At least they brought them back in Tekken 8, holy shit. Plagiarism, truly evil. <laughs> he copied everything from the wiki. He took, a, he took a page from Ubisoft, he was copying shit from the wiki. Uh, is that what this translates to? What the fuck did I just read? Gazia has done everything illegal. I don't think he did everything illegal. He probably still has some stuff left on his bucket list. Would you accept her offer? Right, let's take a look at this one. This woman comes out of nowhere, beats the absolute brakes off your ass until you're on your knees. Then, oh, then that should be it. that should be then I assume. Then proceeds to hold her hand out like an angel and ask you out for a meal. It's Lydia though. That's like a conflict of interest there. That if this was somebody else, possibly not. It comes down to your taste for the meal, I guess. Right, let's let's take a look. What are people though? Yes. <laughs> As a crazy man at my college once said, I love a woman who can whoop my ass like a misbehaved youth. <laughs> Why? Why was this funnier than the meme? What the fuck? Huh? I want it to get embarrassing. What? We should be entirely different people by the end of the first eight hours. What? 
Yes, but only if she pays for the food. <laughs> Is she covering the medical expenses as well, or are you covering that? She's the prime minister of Poland. She can probably afford to pay for someone else. <laughs> what? The Don't forget my medical bills. Yes. <laughs> This is some Goku ass shit, by the way. This is some actual Goku shit. Beat your ass and then say, hey, hey I'm hungry, let's go eat. That, that's some Goku fucking shit. I'd be on my knees at first sight. Oh, okay. Now my girlfriend would win. <laughs> okay, that's a good one. Average dating experience in Poland. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, shit. Yes, and I would pay for the meal. Hey, Mr. Simpson. Goku, yeah, <laughs> there's somebody that knows. There's somebody that knows. That's Goku. Wait, how does so how does one break off my ass? This is a, this is an intellectual question. This is a meme. Okay, th this is a Tekken meme. See, this is like the average Tekken meme. <laughs> um, <clears throat> at least with this, we know that Kazuya is not gonna have some random kids showing up out of nowhere. Look at this has four up for has effort put into it and then you have this shit here 208 what the fuck what the actual fuck how where did that video go it disappeared it how is this only four up folks what the fuck new patch notes from the latest update <laughs> okay <laughs> tekken 5 chads rise up where's tekken 2 lead though Oh, yeah, they added the Tekken 5, 5 lead to the shop, but where's Tekken 2 lead? That is the question. Took me three hours to... I assume what took three hours was the the, the drawing. That That's probably what took up the most time. Here we got some Tekken 3 music. <laughs> Wait, I want to see that again. Hold on. Wait. Enlarge the sh- I wanna see that one again! He's weaving, he's weaving, he's weaving! <laughs> he plugged! <laughs> what the fuck? Oh my god! What, what more is there to this? All the music just left for some reason. What, what the fuck happens here? Hold on, what the fuck happens here? <laughs> okay. Oh, that was kinda cool, actually. Jin hit, Jin with, uh, Devil Jin should have won that. Oh wait, it traded, what the fuck? Oh, they, wait, did they press at the same time? Is that what happened there? Yeah, this can happen. Also, yeah, it's something else you don't see too often. But if two people go for a grab at the same time, it just it just auto breaks. They kind of get like stuck in a tiny animation, and then they both just break away. I had that happen in matches quite a few times. Also, it's it's pretty rare to see, but it's kind of dumb and funny when it does happen. Let an adjustment and take it. Do you trust me? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> what the? <f> <laughs> I, I see someone is putting photo mode to good use. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, okay, that was kind of dumb. I feel like there's a lot you can do with this. I don't know what song this is, but I feel like there is a lot you can do. With I hope I, I hope I don't get hit for fucking copyright for the stupid song. By the way, like I'm I'm gonna mute that part in the video. I'm, just, I'm gonna replace the song here. I feel like you can replace the song with so many songs and it will still work also why is there a mouse i thought that was my mouse on the fucking screen what the hell i shit it in my pants i am for real never meant to make my booty shit i apologize i shit my pants i shit it in my pants i am for real no thank you i will not be adding this match to my favorites the game suggesting to add the match to your favorites after being absolutely demolished by your opponent why is this? <laughs> what is this? What the input is to actually save replays? I, wasn't it start or the pause button? Because I remember I saved replays by accident, just mashing start. I'm like, you skip the fucking outros and shit. I just want to get to the next match, and I saved replays. The prowess-based matchmaking, making experience post. What? 
The prowess based matching making experience. This confused the fuck out of me for some reason. Post Tekken King Illustrate. What the fuck is going on here? Hold on. Kazumi going home after seeing Heihachi get resurrected again. <laughs> well, she doesn't get to make the roster. What the fuck am I looking at? What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? What am I looking at? What is this? Where did she get this? What the fuck? <laughs> what the actual fuck? Oh my god. Me on my way home to play some Tekken and lose some brain cells and get mad as fuck. Yeah, yeah, this is what happens when you play Tekken for longer than like 40 minutes to an hour. You, you start losing it. Where's bro going? Oh, okay, it's Olivia. Let's see what's going on here. What? <laughs> what the fuck is that? What was that? That is some Tekken 8 tracking bullshit that went wrong. What the fuck was that? What the fuck was it? What is going on here? Where did she activate the... Ooh, sidestep, heat smash. I feel like Lydia should have actually hit there. What the fuck? Yeah, wait, hold on. Yeah, why did she go this way? What, what the fuck was that? <laughs> what the fuck was that? End of Tekken, Tekken 8's latest DLC. <laughs> uh, no, no, not really. Lydia ain't that, that threatening. Like, if she goes into the second stance, she's fucked for the most part. If she goes into stance on block, she dies. Irrefutable evidence of why Lucky Chloe is the fourth DLC. Fucking half the ball! <laughs> wait, wait, what move did he use? It was a three plus one. Yep. Oh my god. I, I actually kind of hope Lucky Chloe is the is the fourth DLC character. Like that, the, the, the Tekken community will be losing their shit for like different reasons and it's going to be so confusing to newer players. Everyone's going to be wondering why, why people are upset about a dancing blonde cat girl. Like you, pro you probably have to show them Chloe's dumb shit for them to understand. Hamster. <laughs> Hamster. <laughs> yes, this is that could actually also be show you when you think about it. Tell me you're a Yoshi maid without telling me you're a Yoshi maid. What? <laughs> <laughs> okay, that was kind of funny. But this, this, this isn't even tech, this is just the meme itself being funny. Release buff Steve. Why? Why? Is this like a Bob and Slim Bob thing? Why? Lydia and Heat. <laughs> Whose drunk uncle is this? Holy shit. <laughs> yeah, there is Lydia actually. <laughs> Fucking heaven and earth, my man. <laughs> Look at the. <laughs> yeah, this is, yeah, that's Lydia. <laughs> yes, no, that's Lydia after forward forward two every single time. That's not even heat, Lydia. That's just forward forward two, Lydia. When an ugly stranger calls you twin. When an ugly stranger calls you twin, no bitch. What? Who the ugly stranger though? Oh, Devil Man Cry Baby, nice. What the fuck do I just? Tekken food look good. It's a tag two ending. And then suddenly we have Heiachi's ass. What? Okay, yeah, someone wants to eat Heiachi's ass. Okay. Okay. Don't act like Harada's excuse isn't just as corny. Why? Why is quiet naked Kojima? In the paragraphs. Okay. Why? Why an android has boob physics, Harada? <laughs> okay. Why is Tobi so damn thick? <laughs> I just really like. <laughs> Okay, yeah, we can we can all agree to be as excluded from this. There are three islands in what, Kazakhstan. Eight symbols, but it's very hot outside. Am I missing something here? 
<laughs> Yo, the hamster reaches though. The hamster reaches. <laughs> okay, that was good. Cool. That was good. Cool. How to counter Alyssa? Just to grab mix up, they won't break it or spam down forward one. They don't know what a down forward one run jam is. <laughs> God damn, Alyssa players sometimes. Authentic Sky got me like, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna have to play Authentic Sky now in the background. Holy shit, that, that song is just so chill. Chill as fuck. Also, why would, can we get some Tekken 4 stages redone? Other than the beach stage, because I want. It's been redone twice now. Can we get. Like, authentic, the, the rooftop stage from Tekken 4, the one that had Authentic Sky. Can we get that redone? Holy shit. Such a cool stage. Such cool music. Or oh, is it this again? Why why quiet is naked, Kojima? <laughs> oh, fucking. Yeah. Why an Android has boob physics, Harada? It's necessary. They serve as shotgun <laughs> <laughs> yep, Lydia release day in a nutshell. Yes, why the fuck did they show Heihachi like immediately after? They should have waited a while. Or they should have put Lydia out earlier. That kind of killed all the hype for it. An explanation of why the Mishimas won't die in Tekken. Well, because they have they have the de Mucho Texto, by the way. Well, because they have the devil gene, which is this what hereditary supernatural power that was passed down from their mother. Not entirely true. It renders them near invulnerable, and Kazuya also has a company that can revive him with his DNA. Yep. And I'm sure Jin could resurrect himself if he tried really hard. Yes, he just has to believe hard enough and he can do it. He's cracked. Yeah, the old man is fucking cracked. But he, looking at these two idiots, they probably got it from him. With, with what the shit that these two survive, they probably got it from him. The devil gene, Kazuya can probably say, yeah, I got it from my mama, but... Most of the the resilience comes from this, yeah, the old man. Oh my god! Oh my god, we gotta have gone back. Yep, that would be fun. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, I'm gonna end it here. We have reached the point of just it just being like the season one playable character stuff, and then just text on photo, text on picture. But anyway, if you liked, leave a like. Just like if you didn't, I'm not sure how I'm gonna edit this. And hopefully if I do this again next, I'm probably going to do it again next week. But if and when I do this again, hopefully there's some better memes out there. Like some of them were kind of good, some of them were just... Uh, not really. But hopefully we get... To, hopefully because of a video like this, we, we kind of encourage the community and the Redditors to push out a bit more memes and stuff. We can all enjoy them, have some fun, and take a break from the stress that is Tekken 8 rank.